Hello. Your last lesson today for reading is inference questions for Sydney the kangaroo. So tomorrow you'll have a new text uh, with Miss Head and you'll have no more Sydney to think about. So I really enjoy your last lesson thinking about some inference questions where we can infer and read between the lines. We have to be a bit more of a detective um, with me today. So let's go through the slides. Let's start with the basics. What is the title? Is this a fiction or a non-fiction text? That's right. The title is Sydney the Kangaroo and this is a fiction text, which means it's not real. This is a story. Can you put these events in order? In the order that they took place in? I'll read them to you first. They meet some dingoes. Sydney goes to sleep. The bright light made Sydney blink. And they go to look for some fresh, tasty grass to eat. Which of these events took place first? Then second, then third, and then last. Pause this video and see if you can put these in the correct order. Welcome back. Yes, so the first thing that happened in this story is the bright light made Sydney blink. And that was when he was just a young kangaroo. Then they went to look for some fresh tasty grass to eat. Shortly after that, they met some dingoes. And finally, the last event that took place was Sydney went to sleep at the end of our story. Give us a pat on the back if you manage to get those in the correct order. Hi, year two. So let's play jump in with our book, Kangaroo, or should I say, Sydney the Kangaroo. Sydney the Kangaroo. Sydney was born in the red dust of the Australian bush as soon as he was born he climbed up his mother's fur towards her pouch and climbed inside. He felt safe and warm in there. Sydney stayed in his mother's pouch for many months. He grew bigger and his back, legs and tail grew longer. Soft grey fur grew all over him. His ears became pointed just like his mother's. Then one day Sydney was big enough to peep out of the pouch. The bright light made him blink as he felt the warm sun for the first time. A gentle breeze tickled his face. Sydney watched his mother bend down to eat grass. Sydney tried to eat some too. The next thing he knew, he was rolling on the ground and his mother was looking down at him. He had tumbled out of her pouch. As Sydney got older, he spent more and more time out of the pouch. He learned to hop and jump, 
bringing into the air with his strong back legs. Well done, Sydney, said his mother proudly. You will grow up to be a big, strong kangaroo. One warm afternoon, Sydney and his mother went looking for some fresh, tasty grass to eat. Suddenly, his mother's nose twitched. Dingoes, she hissed, sniffing the air. Sydney looked up, frightened. In the distance, he could see a band of wild dogs. Dingoes, they looked fierce and hungry. Sydney dived into his mother's pouch. He trembled when he heard the dogs begin to howl. Sydney's mother stood still. She hoped the hungry dingoes would not see or smell her, but they came closer and until she knew she had to get away. Hold tight, she whispered to Sydney. Then, with great flying leaps, she bounded away through the... Sydney was afraid he might fall out, but his mother had tightened her pouch, so he was... Safe. Sydney peeped out and saw the dingoes close behind, howling and snarling. Run, mother, run, he cried. Sydney's mother ran as fast as she could, but she soon grew tired. She knew she would have to stand and fight. The dingoes closed in on her, trying to bite. She kicked them and scratched them and kept them away from little Sydney. Just then, a great buck kangaroo appeared. He was a giant of a kangaroo with a creamy chest and a broad red back. He thumped his tail on the ground when he saw the dingoes and then he leapt at them. The dingoes were so frightened of the great buck that they ran away. Then the great buck smiled at Sydney and bounded off into the haze of the late afternoon. In the cool of the evening, Sydney curled up in his mother's pouch, safe again. Soon I'll be too big for your pouch, mother, said Sydney. Yes, soon you'll be a big, strong kangaroo, just like the great buck, replied his mother. Sydney closed his eyes, went to sleep, and dreamed about fighting dingoes. I hope you got stuck in to jump in. It's time to work through one inference question before you go off and answer the questions yourself. So read the question, underline the keywords, find the evidence, reread the question and check that you've definitely answered it. This should be becoming quite familiar to you by now. So. Read the question. What does a gentle breeze tickled his face mean? Underline the keywords. Gentle breeze tickled face mean. What does that mean? Find the evidence. Then one day Sydney was big enough to peep out of, his, out of the pouch. The bright light made him blink as he felt the warm sun for the first time. 
A gentle breeze tickled his face. A gentle breeze tickled his face. Sentence starter. A gentle breeze tickled his face means, what does that mean? It means the wind touched his face. Almost like a tickle. It's your turn. You've got four questions. Remember, read the question, underline the keywords, find the evidence, reread the question and make sure that you've answered it correctly. Good luck. <laughs> 